All right, number 17 says in the diagram HJ is 33, JK is 180, and HK is 183. And it's asking, is segment JK tangent to circle H? This problem is very similar to number 16, except they went ahead and gave me the entire length of HK, so I don't have to add anything else to it. Um, I do want to see if it's tangent, so that means I'm going to have to use Pythagorean theorem and see if um, this is, in fact, the right triangle. So I'm not sure. To do that, like the other problem, I have to do 33 squared plus 180 squared, and I want to see, does that equal... 183 squared. Okay, and 33 squared is going to be 1089. 180 squared comes out to be um, 32,400. This equals 33,489. Sorry, 33,489. If I square 183, I also get 33,489, so they are equal. And so my answer is yes, segment JK is tangent to circle H. At number 18, in the diagram DF is tangent to circle C at point D, and segment FG is tangent to circle C at point G. DF is equal to 134, and FG is 3X plus 41. Find the value of X. Okay, since they both meet or they intersect at this point F, that means that these two tangents are equal to each other. So I'm going to have 3X plus 41 is equal to 134. If I subtract 41 from both sides, we get 3X on this side. 3X is equal to 134. minus 41 comes out to be 93. If I divide by 3, x is going to be equal to 31. All right now number 19 in the diagram measure of angle S is 76. The measure of S to U, arc SU is 127. And we want to find the measure of arc ST. So there's my x. That's what's missing. Okay, since the angle is half the arc, and I'm going from the angle to the arc, I want to multiply by 2. 76 times 2 is going to be 152. Okay, All the way around the circle is 360, so if I take 152 plus 127, um, that gives me 279. And then so x is going to equal to 360 minus 279. which is going to come out to be 81. So the measure of arc ST is 81 degrees. Okay, now number 20 in the diagram segment GJ is the diameter of circle K and MH is 15. Find the measure of FM. Okay, notice that this is a diameter. This chord is perpendicular to that to the diameter so that means this diameter is a perpendicular bisector so if MH is 15 FM is also going to be 15 okay if I ask you for FH then you would take the 15 plus the 15 or do 15 times 2 and you would get 30 so just be careful on this one which one I'm asking you for now, yeah, number 21, it says in the diagram, line M is tangent to the circle, and measure of angle CAB, or arc CAB, excuse me, is 278. So the arc from C to A to B, so that's going this way, is 278, going from here to here. If I go around, then this is asking for the measure of arc CBE, which is here. Okay. So again, uh, the angle is going to equal half the arc. Okay, but the arc I need is actually going right here. Okay, so I, well, what I need to do is I need to take 360 minus 278, which comes out to be 82. So the arc is 82. The angle is half 
half of 82, which is going to be 41. So the measure of angle CBE is 41 degrees. On right, number 22, the measure of angle ABD is 79. So this angle has 79 degrees. We want the measure of arc AB. So that's going this way. So again, since I'm going from the angle towards the arc, I want to multiply by 2. So 79 times 2 is going to be 158. So the measure of arc AB is 158 degrees.